All right, welcome guys back to this awful, awful game. This one took too long. Unbelievable how long this shit took. All right, so we're going to search for shadows. I'm hoping this doesn't take me. If this takes me more than an hour, I'm just not going to. I'm just going to do this offline. Hopefully, it doesn't take me an hour. An old enemy of you must return for revenge. Ha ha ha. Who are you? I am what you what you dread. My name is Vector. You must Sukumo and Astral. I've I've come here to destroy you and your world. It's been a while since we dueled you, Ma. I never dueled you in my life. How quickly we forget. We had lots of fun together when I took over Dr. Faker. You were the one who was controlling Dr. Faker. That, that was just a preview. This is my fault. I'm sorry, Yuma. I refuse to go away empty-handed, Yuma. I prefer you, but your friend will do. Let him go. Where are you, ta where are you taking him? This card will give you a clue. Number 66. Save me, Yuma! Ray! Using the number card that Vector gave him, Astro was able to summon an airship that could take everyone to Baron World. I have determined our destination. The number card that Vector left behind became a key which activated the airship. It also gener generated visual coordinates of a special location. What kind of location? My guess, Baron World. Ve Vector is telling us to come to him. Yuma and his friend boarded the sh airship that was suppo supposedly bound for Baron World. However, the ship did not travel there. Instead, it appeared in Sar Sargasso, a dimensional wasteland where the, Baron the, the Barons were waiting. Yuma, Kite, and Shark were each forced to battle a different Baron Emperor. So, you are Reginald Castle. My name is Domon, the one who is about to defeat you. I, I'm just fucking, I don't even know what kind of voices I'm giving them. No, you're just the first Baron I get to beat. So bring it on, you costume freak. I sometimes wish my voice can go like a little bit higher and a little bit like extremely deeper. That way I can do different voices. But I can't, sadly. Maybe like uh there uh there is that one um I forget what it's called. It was a uh, It was a it was a interface or like the like the U UX2 that I could use. And that one changed your voice. So maybe like I was hoping like one day I can like use that to like mask my voice a little bit but that's in the future probably i summon piercing moray in attack mode i place one card face down that ends my turn i don't like this Yeah, I don't like this. What is he doing? He's trying to summon a card. But what card is he trying to summon? It has to be this next one. It has to be. No? I'm confused. What just happened? My draw! I summon Golden Fro Flying Fish in attack mode! 
You can tribute one other fish monster, then target one card on the field, destroy that card. Once per turn, you can tribute one fish, sea serpent, or aqua type monster. This card gains 600 if this card attacks the defense with your monster. Inflict piercing that. Oh, hello. Well, not right now. I don't need it now. Unless that face down back there is going to kick my ass, sea bass. But let's see. Piercing Moray, attack! Attack! Golden Flying Fish! That will end my turn. My draw! Uh, I summon Meta, Meta Ball Shark in attack mode. Now, my shark attack! And it can. What does he have here? Number Shark Drake. Number 32, Shark Drake. Wait, what? Oh, Shark Drake Beas. Okay. Well, I can't do anything right now. I should use this guy's uh, special ability. Or effect, I mean. My draw! When your opponent XYZ summons, banish two fish monster from your graveyard and target that face up XYZ monster. Take control of that target. Ooh, hello. Now I summon Piercing Moray! It's time to XYZ summon! My Moray! Oh, wait, what? I need three? Sheesh! The three cards! Go! XYZ Summon! Go! My Shark! Drake! I place him in attack mode! Uh, hold on. Once per turn, when this attacking card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can detach one XYZ monster from this summon card. Just summon the destroyed monster of your opponent's side. Your, your an attack position. It also loses a thousand. Okay. Attack my shark! Oh, that's what it does. Boom. An attack. That will end my turn. Stop it. A defense, huh? Okay. My draw. Um, I summon Golden Flying Fish in attack mode. I will attack you with my shark. No. Attack second shark. Attack Flying Fish. Can I attack again if I do this? I would rather save this just in case something bad happens, you know? You never know something bad might happen. Like this. Like this. Like that. My draw. I place one card face down. Now, my shark will attack. And... Uh, new. Attack! Metal shark! Shit. Yes. Attack shark. And attack my golden flying fish. Wow. Huh. That's crazy. <laughs> Actually, I didn't think I was going to win. Oh wait, that's it? That's it? No nothing else? What? Oh. Okay.
Kite, you have a galaxy eyes, but so do I. We will prove once and for all which of us is a true galaxy eye master. That's fine with me, Mizar, 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 Mizar. Let's go. All right, and I lost. It seems a little bit like I understand this feeling of losing. Oh well, I know I'm gonna lose this one. Look at these cards I have in my hand. Uh oh. Huh? How is he able to summon Guardian Iatos? How am I so fucked in one turn? <laughs> How am I so screwed? I play two cards face down and one card in the fence mode. That's all I can do. Yikes! Oh boy. I activate Mirror Force! My draw. Cannot be normal summon. Must much be fresh special summon from your hand. Or you control no monsters. If you control, if you control another monster, this card cannot attack. I'm getting shit it on by my own deck. Galaxy Eye Phantom Dragon. You can special summon this card from your hand by tributing two monsters with 2,000 more attack. During either players, oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, if you control a phantom or galaxy monster, you can normal summon this card without tributing. When you do target one galaxy eye phantom dragon in your graveyard, if possible, this card loses a thousand and it is special summon. I mean, I could summon it. I got I, Fuck it. Why, why not? Galaxy Wizard! I special uh, without tripping. Yes. Go, Galaxy Knight. Once return, you can increase this uh, card's level by four until the end of the main. I don't know. Let's see what it does. Increase level monsters. Add one designated card to your hand from your deck. Oh, I was hoping I could have. Oh, wait, this is three? Fuck, it's three. Shit. I thought it was only two. Damn it. Oh, well. This guy is gonna die. Attack! Galaxy Knight! Oh, no. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Uh, is there a card where I could kill every single monster in the field? No. Okay. I tried. <laughs> I don't. I don't know this guy's deck at all. How does this attack go to twenty-eight? This card cannot attack directly and can only attack dragon type monsters. If this card battles a dragon type monster, this card gains a thousand. Oh well. Go! Uh, you. Attack! Fuck that. That card is too powerful and fuck that trash. Oh, that seems bad. Place one card face down. I can get normal summon or special summon. From your hand by tributing with attack during each... No, hell no. Fuck that. Activate Swords of Revealing Light. Attack my dragon. That dragon. Ooh. 
Oh, I guess one person. Okay. You see, I should have known that, but I didn't. Stop it. My draw. When the Galaxy Monster you control is targeted for attack, you can special summon this card from your hand in defense position. Okay. Stop it. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, I got another one, huh? I special summon. Galaxy Eye Phantom Dragon. You can you have successfully wait which 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 fact? Oh. No. Okay, maybe yes. Activate Call of the Haunted to summon my Galaxy Knight back from the graveyard. And now, Galaxy Knight, attack! Why can I only attack one time? I, I don't understand why I can only attack one time. Target one phantom or galaxy monster in your graveyard. Just summon it in attack position and equip it with this card. It cannot attack or activate its effect. If it would be destroyed during your battle phase, you can destroy this card instead. This card leaves attack. Okay. Wait, do I have only fours? And I don't want a four. I want something higher. Wait, I can, I can technically activate. Oh no no no! Wait, ah shit! I forgot. It can't, damn it! No fuck. Can't activate the fucking effect. I forgot. Damn it. Uh, this guy, yes. Nothing can attack. Are you shitting? Oh my god. I don't understand this guy's deck. I'm trying to read the fucking things and... Oh, now I seriously can't attack at all. Great. First summon two phantom tokens. Oh, okay, so I can summon this guy. <laughs> but what's the point? I end. My draw. I activate Phantom Sanctuary. And now I tribute this guy and this guy to special summon. Galaxy Eyes Dragon! And then I activate Swords of Revealing Light! That's it. Oh boy. That's a bad, that's a bad sign, huh? Yeah, it's a bad sign. What? Oh, that's a really bad sign now. <laughs> okay. Alright. <laughs> oh. Shit. 
Galaxy have Phantom Dragon as an. So I need. Uh, oh, I can actually summon him. Once per turn, you can detach one material, detach all my, your opponent controls, then this card gains. Wait, what? Hold on, what? Okay, so. As negate the effect of all face up card currently on the field once per turn you can detach one xyz material from this card detach all xyz material from from monsters from monsters your opponent controls then this card gains 500 for each also it can also attack up to that many times during each battle oh okay fine fuck it Yo, XYZ summon because I have nothing else to do now at this point. Yo, Neo Galaxy I Phantom whatever Phantom Dragon. Buy my dragon. Can't attack right now. Oh, this is this is bad, right? How bad is it? Wait, what? You can attack? When the monsters declare to attack, target the attack monster, negate the attack, and one face-up monster you control gains a thousand. Yeah, that. How was he able to attack, by the way? Um. Attack! That fucker that could attack somehow! I like the, uh, the fact that he could attack. Because that made no fucking sense to me. What? Seriously, how was he able to attack? Can't use this effect again, huh? Fuck, ah, why? Activate Phantom Sanctuary. Um, um, attack. I don't know what else to do. Ow, you mother. How do you expect me to do anything? Face down. The set in defense position. That's all I can do. Oh, it's called the haunted oh, shit. You mother. Position. I, I can't do anything unless I do the call the haunted, but there's nothing in my fucking graveyard that does anything. Hi, I think we're in trouble here, my friend. Scratch that, we're in big trouble. Activate Call of the Haunted! To bring back my Neo Galaxy Eye Phantom Dragon! Uh. 
Um, this card can attack. If this card attacks, it is changed to defense position. I summon Phantom Crusher. Now my dragon, attack. Phantom Crusher, attack. That's game. Oh, that's it? No dialogue? You know, this is weird. Like, usually there's some dialogue. Nothing? Really? I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. Well, anyways, guys. Uh, that's it. Jesus. I, I did not expect me to win that. So, next time we're going to do search, of, search for Shadows Part 3. And then, whatever this is. And then it's one... So, I have four more episodes to go. <laughs> I'm done with this right now because I'm pretty sure this is going to take... These two are probably going to take me too long. And I don't want it to take me about maybe an hour again. And me having to rage. Because I'm having such a nice day. And I don't want to mess it up. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to give this video a like. Make sure to comment. And make sure to subscribe if you're new. Thank God it took me less than half an hour. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Goodbye.